I've decided to make a update video about my recording setup because it changed since the last time and I also want to upgrade it even more. So I will show you the current setup and I will show you my new idea for another upgrade for it. This is from my perspective how it looks like. Right here I have a preview from the main camera that I can see that you can see me well. Here I have a preview from the top camera. Not always I use the top camera, but for some videos I use it. And right here I can check if everything is in frame. I have four lights right here to evenly light up everything on the desk. And also on the ceiling, all lights are turned on to 100%. Right here I have portable energy storage near me for a USB-C, USB-A, 12 volts and 230 volts. So I can easily power any device that I test. I don't have to search for a charger. Here is a phone ready for live streaming. Right now I'm not live streaming, so it's turned off. And on top I have cables for powering and charging USB devices. I have everywhere access to USB power. Some cables are permanently connected like to the screens. Some are free, for example, for charging microphones. And some I unplug like this GoPro. I unplug during recording because then it doesn't record audio. And that's easier to synchronize when I have audio from each device. Additionally, right here, I have a preview of the audio and I can see if it is recording. And one thing that I don't like in the current setup are mountings of these two cameras because here I have a long arm with a heavy object on the end and it makes pendulum. So any little move can make the camera to move it. The desk is set high during recordings and I adjust it depending on the size of the item that I show. And little movement can make camera to shake a little bit. It isn't much shaking because it is quite stable, but it is noticeable. And also this camera the same, it can shake. So I decided to mount two additional pipes. This long one I will mount around here, from here to here. And another one from around here to this pipe to make it more steady and to make those mounting arms shorter. So it should be less shaky in future videos. And for connecting the new pipes to the old pipes, uh, I received help from GLC 3DP. They've printed for me joints between those pipes and they've sent me really fast those prints. Here are the connectors. They are printed from nylon because I wanted simple connection, nothing over-engineered because there won't be any big forces on those joints, but I wanted something simple but durable so it will last for a few years. And they printed those joints that I designed in nylon. The finish is really good. It is better than I expected. I will test it under microscope uh, in a while. And the prices are quite good. They start from 30 cents and for new customers they offer up to $70 discounts. You can also print in other materials, you don't have to print in nylon. You can print in metal or over 20 other materials. They have a big choice. Ordering parts is also really easy and good. When I uploaded my files they suggested me that one wall is too thin and they can print it but it may be too weak or it may fail at this point and they suggested that I should make it uh, wider or on my own risk print it like this. So I uploaded corrected files and within a few days I've received my parts ready and I've made the holes 0.2 millimeters bigger than the pipes so it will fit for sure. And let's test it. Let's see if they will fit. They fit really good. You can see it's a little bit free because of this 0.2 millimeters more that I've added. They fit how I want it. 
and also other side fits also really well to the pipe. It is really smooth right here. I didn't need it that smooth, but the quality is better than I expected. And uh, let's see under microscope how good it is. I have this microscope that I showed you already in another video. Let's connect this to the USB. And for cooperation, I've also printed on the classic 3D printer similar part and we will compare it under microscope. You can visually see that the quality is totally different. It's much worse. But let's see under the microscope how it will look like. Here you can see how it looks like inside. And let's see from the side also. You can see it is smooth. I cannot see print layers on this part. And for comparison, see this myself printed part from a PLA. This one is nylon, so it is more durable for sure. And on my part, you can easily see all the printing layers. My quality is much worse. And from the side, you can clearly see all the layers right here. And you can see how my part is rounded right here and they part is better quality than mine. So let's take out this microscope and let's try to mount those pipes to upgrade this setup. And those connectors will be right here to this pipe connected by zip ties because I don't need stronger connection than zip ties, but I will be able to adjust it in future if I will have another idea to upgrade the setup. So zip ties are perfect for me for this scenario. Second one from the other side and here will be the other pipe. Let's start from mounting those two parts on the pipe and mounting the pipe on this side. Putting it like this would be enough, but I will try to put a little bit of duct tape right here to make it more stuck on the pipe. It is not needed in my situation, but I will try it to make it easier for mounting. Now it won't move while mounting it. And second end is ready. Let's mount the first pipe. It is staying on its own, but let's lock it with zip ties. And I won't lock it totally because I will have to adjust it up or down to connect the second pipe. Like this is the first side mounted. It is right now free because I will have to adjust it. And I will have to mount the other side. And for that, I will lower the desk. It is locked right now. And let's prepare the second pipe. And here I have two different parts because one part will be attached to the same pipe like this and one will be attached to the old pipe. Let's take out the camera for easier mounting. And let's hide it. Also let's move from the way this camera and let's mount the second pipe. And I want this pipe from here to here, I will need the first pipe to be higher and I can lock the first part to the top. And now I can adjust and lock 
the other part. And now I can lock these parts on the correct height. And now the desk should be more sturdy because I have additional connection from here to here. So it has less possible movements. And also now I will mount the camera to this pipe. So I won't need that long arm because the cameras will be right next to this pipe, much more stable and it should be better for the video quality. Let's try to make fast camera mounting uh, for example and later I will adjust them if I will need to. The main camera I can mount right here or right here. Both situations will be good for me. Let's for now try it like this. And for example, it could be mounted like this. Even if I shake it really hard, it stops shaking immediately. So it is much better for recording that it really fast stops shaking even if I would hit it directly. And second camera I can mount the same way. I put another mounting point on this pipe and I have a stable top view easily and I can easily adjust it and that's the camera I can adjust it. So this is the new setup, more stable for better future videos quality and thanks again to GLC 3DP for providing those 3D printed nylon parts. They really helped me to make durable connections for my pipes, really easy, cheap and fast. And that's all for today. Like, subscribe and be nice.